Hey everyone and welcome to VFX Vibe once again. So today's video is going to be another tips and tricks video inside Maya. And in this video, we are going to see how we can render and use our crypto mats. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so here as you can see, I have my scene setup open and in which I have my project garage. If you haven't seen that live stream, so go and check you can you can check that project garage live streaming so uh, here directly i'm going to set up my crypto mat rendering so i'm going over here in project setting and in project setting i have aovs right so if we'll go all the way down we have three types of crypto mat basically crypto asset crypto material crypto object so these three are very uh, different from each other a uh, crypto asset is uh, sub something like uh, as you can see we have our car so might be car will be another asset right uh, you can see i have different different wood planks so might be my wood will be a different asset so as you can see i have a barrel over here so barrel will be a uh, another asset but in single asset we have different different objects right so if you want to render your crypto mat based upon assets so you need to choose crypto assets right same way we have crypto material so if you want to render your crypto mat on the basis of material you have applied then you should go for crypto material as in so if you are going to apply single material on all these planks so crypto mat will count all these planks as a single object right so that's the thing that's uh, that's how the crypto material work suppose that you are going to apply same material on this and on this objects so crypto mat will consider both objects as a single map right or mat so that's that's how our crypto material works and now crypto object which is very unique so if you want to render your crypto map or crypto mask on the basis of object you have in your scene then you should go for your crypto object as in in car we have different different objects in wooden planks we have different different objects so we have our lanterns and in light lantern we have different different objects as well as we have this we have this we have this so if you want to render your crypto mat on the basis of objects you should go for it suppose that you want to uh, render your crypto uh, mat on the basis of object just you need to select it and just hit this arrow button it should come in active aovs crypto object and after that what we need to do keep it in mind what we need to do just go over here and in rendering tab we have render right so just go to render and before rendering let's open my project setting one more time just go to common and you should name this thing right so suppose that i am going to render my crypto material on the basis of uh, object so might be i can type object one something like that just to name it right and if you want to render your merge as a merge aov just go for it right apart from that just keep it in mind uh, that which frame you are going to render and which camera you are going to render in aov setting already i did that just close it and just go to render and here we have sequence render keep it in mind we have sequence render so you need to render your sequence otherwise crypto mat won't work if you if you want to render from uh, this place render view it won't work crypto mat won't work so you need to keep it in mind just you need to go over here and render sequence and it will render properly right so same way if you want to render uh, your crypto mat on the basis of uh, uh, asset and material you can select with the same way and you can render it out so let's jump to nuke and we'll see how we can use those crypto mats okay so we are inside nuke and i have three 
crypto mats as you can see i have crypto mat on the basis of assets i have crypto mat on the basis of material and i have crypto mat on the basis of object so as i'm going to take my crypto mat let me delete all this crypto mat and here i have crypto mat installed if you are using newer version of you crypto mat will be by default in your menu so i have crypto mat over here and if i am going to attach my crypto mat crypto mat assets so you can easily see this is uh, this crypto mat is based upon assets and car is a single asset car and this tire is a single asset and all wooden work and ground is in single asset so if i am going to select it just double click on crypto mat and here here i can use picker add and hold down control and click your car will be selected and your tire will be selected if i'm going to uh, remove it just control and click you can remove it if you want to select your uh, this objects you can select it selection will be on the basis of assets same way if i'm going to take another crypto mat and let me do one over here and i'm going to connect it with garage crypto material means on the basis of material so i am going to connect it and as you can see the same material object will be counted as a mask just select crypto mask and add picker and if i am going to hold on control and click what will happen same material group will be selected as a single mask same way this is my wood it will be selected as a mask and as i'm going to create one more crypto and i'm going to connect it with the crypto object every object i have used will be treated as a single mask right so if i'm going to control pick add and hold down control this will be a separate this will be in one mat and if i'm going to select this it will be selected as a separate entity right same with this same with this same with this 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 is the way how we can add or how we can render our crypto mat on the basis of our uses so if you want to render all three crypto mats you are free to do that and if you want to render on specific object based or assets based or material based you can render it out and you can use it so i hope today's video is bit informative to you and if you feel that this video is informative please don't forget to like it share it and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfxy signing off have a good day